Hey, what's up everybody? Matt here with Creature Breeder. Gonna take you guys through my morning routine. Uh, I got a bunch of cocoa blocks in that we're gonna get loaded up first, and then I'm gonna go through all the snake stages and uh, checks for any poops, and we spot clean, and then uh, every month or so we'll totally clean out with cocoa blocks. Probably about two, two weeks from now we'll probably do a full clean out, but today it's just a uh, spot cleaning, and I uh, just gotta stock some supplies in. So let's get going, guys. Crazy when that gives you a sweat, right? But yeah, so that's that's getting the cocoa blocks up. Now we have to go through all of the snakes, um, spot clean, and make sure all their waters are topped off. And uh, some of them I'll give a little quick spray to, depending on what it looks like inside. Here in Colorado, it's a lot drier, so we tend to spray our tubs like every two days or so. Um, so yeah, let's get started, guys. <laughs> So I just want to stop and do a video real quick um, just to just to say it straight out I'm not um, paid to advertise or sponsored by or anything like that for Cocoa Blocks I just really really like Cocoa Blocks and there's a lot of hate out there I just want to show you guys in a bin um, we used uh, Reptichip about two weeks ago we had to buy a couple blocks just because we couldn't get a hold of the, uh, the Cocoa Blocks right away so we grabbed three blocks because my buddy works at a pet shop and he bring it here and we have tubs side by side just to show you the difference um how much chunkier cocoa blocks is uh, the reptile chip it, it's finer has a lot more hairs in there i call it um, a lot more dust inside of there just let me, let me show you guys real quick let's see. so on the left hand side we have cocoa blocks in this tub on this side we have reptile chip hopefully we don't get bit by this uh firefly <laughs> but as you can see this stuff on this side is a lot chunkier as in has bigger blocks bigger pieces of cocoa um i prefer that over the dustier stuff it keeps the tubs a little bit cleaner and i don't know i just i just like it a lot better on this side where we got this crazy girl this is repta chip right here and as you can see when you're already starting to look you go down to just the bottom of this tub right here and there's a lot of like debris down here um freedom breeder they make a cocoa shaker i personally don't have it i'm not hating against freedom breeder about the cocoa shaker but i don't see the need for me to use it um other people out there might like to get theirs just a little bit cleaner than what i have it even but with reptile chip we have people out there arguing that this is a supe far superior product and it's not as dusty if you put this through freedom breeders um cocoa shaker you <laughs> you would maybe get like this much out of a cup and that ain't that that's going to be a huge waste um all in preference you guys just wanted to put my little two cents out there and show the difference side by side <laughs> So just giving a little overview or explaining what, kind of what I'm doing here just to make sure everybody understands. If you don't understand, or at least you understand what I do, we have a diluted um, chlorhexidine. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's not too bright or anything, but we have a diluted chlorhexidine solution and paper towel on hands. Um, I clean every single day, so I, I don't have poops in every single bin or urates in every single bin. But when I do, wherever the poop is, I try to like say if the poop's that big, I try to take an area that big of bedding out. Um, Cause like the juices, they could soak out just a little bit, I think. And then I will move the bedding and spray chlorhexidine, wipe it out, move the bedding around. And then most of the bins are getting sprayed today. 
I do it every two days or so here in Colorado. It gets uh, real dry inside of there. Um, like as you can hear, it's like cracker dry right now. Uh, we run a humidifier that's a five gallon humidifier. It runs constantly inside of here, but with the electric um, heater that we use out here, it kind of dries stuff out here, especially being in Colorado, how dry it is here already. Um, but <clears throat> on top of that, I, I fill up water bowls every day. Once a week, we wash out water bowls, um, make sure that they look really good. We don't let stains or anything build up at all. Um, we're not the best care. <laughs> like there's some people out there that literally change bedding once a week, they say, and are on top of it two times a day to clean out poop and pee and stuff. And I, I get it and I don't wanna like, not bashing them or anything like that. But at the same time, me cleaning every single day, it's still a lot better than some of these breeders that I've seen out here. It's crazy how some of they how some of them leave their bins. Like the water bowls look like shit. They have poop and everything throughout. Um, I kind of understand leaving the sheds in there on some of them. I learned that from a couple different people. They said they leave the sheds in there to make them feel just a little bit more comfortable. But we're leaving big chunks of shed, like full sheds, instead of like like if they like had patchwork type of shed where it's like real loose pieces all over. Um, I'll clean out a whole bin at that point. I don't I don't I don't let them get much more beyond that. But I don't know. I think we do a pretty good job cleaning, and and we're gonna keep doing it the way that we're doing, and we're gonna try to keep our animals the best that we can keep them. So let's get back to this time lapse, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you're still here, you got to do it for us. Come on, please. Um, we're getting a lot more likes and everything like that. I'm trying to hit 2,000 likes by the end of uh, April. That's probably a good goal. Um, so yeah, let's get back into this. Thanks, guys. In my darkness, 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 in my darkness. In my class So yeah everybody, that's how we daily go through our racks and clean them up and make sure that our snakes are sitting in, in a healthy environment. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed again if you guys made it this far and you guys watched all this please don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that like button um, hit that notification button for any future videos we got lots of clutches coming up guys the exciting stuff is about to come um, again thanks for watching everybody hope you have a good day talk to you later peace